Like many young Americans, my friends and I wanted to head south for spring break. This year, we decided to travel to Costa Rica. We looked forward to laying on sunny beaches, exploring tropical rainforests, and seeing howler monkeys. What we didn't expect to find was a tasty frozen treat that would keep us coming back for more each day. Welcome to Punta Arenas, a small port town on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. This relaxed and easygoing town is a perfect destination for families and travelers, but without the noisy traffic from tourists. Any seasoned traveler knows that behind every great culture is great food, and within every small town is a great small town secret. Before we even arrived in Punta Arenas, we were told that if we didn't try a Churchill, we were never really there. El Sisteo is one of six kiosks located at El Paseo de las Turistas, a popular avenue for shopping, dining, and entertainment. These kiosks are the original home to the Churchill and have been serving them for over 50 years. My name is Flander Rodriguez Villalobos. I am originally from Punta Arenas. Tengo más de 40 años de tener este negocio. Es un granizado, en Costa Rica se llama granizado. Se prepara con hielo raspado, se le pone sirope, leche en polvo, leche condensada y un helado. Este, es muy apetecido por, la, por el turismo. Talking to customers at El Sisteo, we met Costa Ricans from nearly every corner of the country who had traveled here to enjoy a Churchill. Cada vez que venimos a Punta Arenas, a Punta Arenas hay que venir a comer chuchil o pescado. Cuando era una niña de como de unos seis años tal vez y ahora tengo 60. Sí, sí, lo comí cuando era muy pequeña, me traía a mi mamá a, las, a, a comer chuchi. Bueno, en realidad para comerse un chuchi hay que venir aquí a la provincia de Punta Arenas. The original Churchill is made with a flavor of syrup called cola champán, a sweet red syrup similar to grenadine. Over the years, the variety of flavors has grown to include salsa, naranja, uva, piña, and limón. There are even spin-offs like the Super Coloso, made with tamarind oranges and other fruits. Now that we had tried the dessert and met its fans, we were left with one question burning in our minds. Why is a Churchill named a Churchill? Ni idea. No one was sure why it was called a Churchill, so we decided to turn back to our friends from El Sisteo to find out the true history behind the unusual name. The el nombre, el nombre básicamente, la historia dice que se originó por, por Winston Churchill, el primer eh, ministro inglés. Eh, un señor llegó a comerse uno y se parecía mucho a él, y entonces un, otro, otro cliente pidió uno y dijo como el que se estaba comiendo Churchill. Entonces de ahí en adelante como que se llama Churchill. Long after our trip, the Churchill stays strong in our memories. Who knew we would discover such a delightful dessert that paints a unique portrait of the city of Punta Arenas? If you ever find yourself in this small shore town, make sure you walk along El Paseo de las Ristas and find your way to El Sisteo. You won't be disappointed in the people you meet or the food you find.